your fun spider web and spider that pops up, you will need two pieces of white paper, some tape or glue, a fuzzy stick I got at the dollar store in a big pack, or you can just glue your spider flat if you don't have it, a pencil for drawing, markers, and scissors for cutting. Pause the movie, get your materials, and let's get started. Starting with our first piece of paper, we want to make a square spider web, and our spider web paper is a rectangle. So I'm going to take the corner of my paper and fold and line it up. So it's folded on what's called a diagonal. And then I can take my scissors and cut this top off. This will make your paper square. If you want to keep it a rectangle though and just have a longer spider web, that's fine with me too. But now that we have a square piece of paper, we are gonna make our spider web. And we are gonna draw our spider web in pencil first and then outline it in marker. So when I make my spider web, I am going to go diagonal on the paper, diagonal on the paper like an X. And then I'm going to go horizontal on the paper all through the same point and vertical on the paper all through the same point. When we make our spider web, we're gonna go around in a circle and it's going to curve up like a U. So it goes down and up, down and up, and it touches the line every time. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. And sometimes it helps me to say that. And I'm gonna go and make a second circle going a few, about a finger space above it, down and up, following that same shape. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. That last one, we really want to exaggerate that down and up. We're almost there. Looks like a really cool spider web. And now we have our spider web on our paper. We're gonna outline it in black marker. Now's the fun part. We can color in with markers, or if you have crayons, you can color in with that too. You can make it any color you want and get as creative as you would like. So you can see already in my first two, I came up with a color combination of purple, 
orange and green and mix the colors so that the colors aren't in line. So it's not purple, purple. They don't touch each other, they're spaced apart. That's just an idea. Again, however you wanna color it, I'm excited to see what you come up with. Okay, I am all done coloring my spider web. I'm pretty happy with all the bright colors and I think my spider's gonna like it. So to make your spider, you're going to make a circle for the body, a circle for the head, and then eight legs. Now, if you have a circle to trace, you can use it. If you don't, you can just make the circles with me. So I'm gonna start with his head and I'm gonna color it in solid black. We will cut and add his eyes later. Then behind his head, I'm gonna add another circle and I'm gonna add some stripes on it and he's gonna be a black and striped. I might do black and purple striped spider. And when I make his legs, his legs are going to go up and down, 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 up and down. And I want his legs to be a little thicker so it's not so hard for me to cut out. So having your big marker in black is great for this. And then here, I'll add the purple. Now, we didn't do the measurement in the beginning, but my circle is definitely big enough to fit two fingers in and my body is definitely big enough to fit four fingers in just to kind of go back and check that. Now with the eyes you have a few things. You could make some Google eyes or you can draw two circles and cut them out and glue them on to your spider. And sometimes I have a hard time making them the same size, so I'm gonna show you a technique. I'm gonna cut out a rectangle. And on this rectangle, I'm gonna draw one eye. I'm gonna take my paper and Fold it behind and cut out the eye. And when I open it up, I have two that are the exact same size. So again, you could just draw it and cut it. You could do Google eyes or my special secret technique. And now I need to add the detail. And before I glue the eyes on, I'm gonna cut out my spider. To cut my spider out, I am gonna go around my paper. And get all the big extras away. Now I can go in for the details. So I'm gonna go straight and turn. And turn. 
that off. I'm gonna go in and in and up. And if this is really, really hard for you to cut out the legs, you can leave a little bit of the white closer to the body. But you know, cutting takes practice and fine motor skills and paying attention because if you don't pay attention, you can cut off a leg and that's not good. So your hand on your one side, I'm right-handed, so my left hand right here is important because he holds the paper. And then my right hand with my thumb up is the one that cuts the spider. There is my spider. I'm gonna take a cleanup break and come back and glue those eyes on. Find all your scraps, look on your under your table, see if they fell on the floor and clean up. So I have my glue stick. I'm gonna glue my spider eyes. Now we're gonna get that fuzzy stick, our paper, and we're gonna make our spider pop up. So you're gonna take your four fingers with your fuzzy stick on your thumb and you're gonna wrap it around your four fingers. And it's gonna make a little wing, wing, wing coil. You're gonna take tape, or if you're at home, you can have an adult hot glue it. Using a glue stick isn't really gonna work with the fuzzy stick and white Elmer's glue is gonna take forever to dry. So I'm gonna use some tape. And think, where do I want my spider to be? And I'm gonna tape down the end of that fuzzy stick. And put my spider on top of this one. So again, I've got that bottom one taped right here. And this one, I'm gonna tape on his belly. So you can flip it and then put that on, on his belly. Press it on him. And you can really see the distance he has. So I'm gonna, what's nice about the fuzzy stick is you can bend it and mold it how you want. So I'm really gonna kind of Put him down for a moment and he's popping up. And that is so much fun. If you have colored construction paper, you can glue it to make a border and write your name on it. But now you have a fun pop-up spider. If you had glitter glue, you could add some glitter glue to your spider web. Um, I hope you had fun creating art with me. Excited to see your pop-up spiders.